In this lecture, we're going to see the different consistency models in DynamoDB. So what happens when you insert an item into DynamoDB? An item in DynamoDB is nothing but a key value pair, as we have seen before. Once you insert the key value pair or an item into DynamoDB, it reaches three data centers or three availability zones. So if you see it's getting consistent across three availability zones, why do you need to store in three availability zones? As we've seen before, DynamoDB has a built-in high availability feature, which means the data is stored in three different data centers or three different availability zones. So if something happens to one availability zone, the data is still available in the other two. But what is the problem with storing data in three different data centers or availability zones? For an item to reach the three data centers or availability zones, it's gonna take some time, right? In the case of DynamoDB, according to documentation, it takes up to one second to reach three availability zones. So let's say you have an insert update or an item in DynamoDB. It is going to take one second to reach all three data centers and get consistent across all data centers. So is there a problem with this? There could be because let's say you are updating a record and somebody else is reading the same record. It takes one second for the update to reach three availability zones. And within that one second gap, readers of that record may see the older version. So that may be a problem sometimes. That's why we have two different consistency models. One is called eventual consistency. The second is called strong consistency. We're going to explore the difference between eventual consistency and strong consistency. When to use eventual versus when to use strong. There are two consistency models. One is eventual consistency and the other is strong consistency. What is eventual consistency? So if you choose eventual consistency for your data, reads can happen from any of the three availability zones. As we've seen before, the data is stored in three availability zones. And if you choose eventual consistency, when a read happens, it only fetches from one availability zone. It does not see what exists on the other availability zones. It just fetches randomly from any of the three. So what is the problem with this? Let's say it fetches from availability zone one. The version on availability zone one could be different from availability zone three, because remember, there is one second duration for data to get consistent across all three availability zones. So when you were reading from availability zone one, if someone updated the same item, it would have become consistent on availability zone three, but have not reached availability zone one yet. So if there is a scenario like this, you could be reading old data. So it does not guarantee that this is the latest version of the item as we discussed. One second is the duration to get consistent across all three availability zones, which could be a problem sometimes. If someone reads the same item within that second, there is no guarantee that this is the latest version. Dirty reads are very much possible. So what does it mean by dirty reads? In database terminology, dirty reads mean stale read, or you are reading older data. It is not the latest version of the data. Usually, eventual consistency costs less because you are reading randomly from any of the three availability zones. The cost is less when compared to strong consistency. Performance is better than strong consistency because you are not comparing against the other two data centers to see if it is consistent. 
You are gaining performance, but you are losing on consistency because the data might be inconsistent across all the three availability zones if you read using eventual consistency. So let us explore strong consistency. Strong consistency guarantees that the latest version of the item is read because it does not randomly read from any of the three availability zones. Instead, it verifies that the item is consistent across all the availability zones. Dirty reads are not possible when you use strong consistency. So as we have seen before, dirty reads means reading older data or stale data. That does not happen with strong consistency. Usually, this costs more when compared to eventual consistency because you get consistent data all the time. Performance suffers when compared to eventual consistency. So if you use eventual consistency, the performance is always better than strong consistency. Let us explore the cost difference. Strong consistency is going to cost you a lot more money, but with eventual consistency, it is almost like half of what you pay for strong consistency. So if your data does not need strong consistency, always go for eventual consistency because you get better performance. You get a good price and the default in DynamoDB is eventual consistency anyway. So eventual consistency always performs better if compared to strong consistency. And the cost of eventual consistency is half of the cost of strong consistency. Let us explore some facts. What is the default consistency model in DynamoDB? So if you don't choose anything, the default is eventual. Eventual is good for most cases, unless you need very strong consistent reads because the performance is better and the cost is less. Does the consistency level affect the throughput rate? Throughput rate is nothing but the performance. Yes, obviously, as we discussed before, it's going to affect the throughput rate. For a given allocation of resources, the read rate that a DynamoDB table can achieve is different from strongly consistent and eventually consistent reads. So as we have seen before, eventually consistent reads are faster. Can the consistency level be different for different tables? So let's say you have 10 tables in DynamoDB and you want to choose different consistency models for different tables. Yes, you could do that and that is possible. Let's say you have a table that always needs to be consistently read. Then you choose strong consistency for that particular table and eventual for others.